Um, so again, the key thing is basically you just say to yourself, I'm gonna, uh, all that's happening is the number three is bonding to the number four, and that's putting a negative charge that on this makes oxygen. Sense. Yeah. But then I would then redraw that so that it looks more like the final product. It's very helpful if you try to start drawing your intermediates so they look like the final product. Okay, because I think this now starts to make it obvious what's going to happen a little bit. Okay, so uh, if we're all on the same page, what would happen next? Yeah, we need to focus on the negative charge. Something has to happen with this negative charge here. Um, so this would like to... Oh, can we protonate it? Yeah. Remember that after your main reaction, if you're left with a charge, a good way to get rid of that is protonating. Um, and where could this take the proton from? Sorry, in the yeah. same case, it's sometimes confusing because I've noticed sometimes he doesn't directly protonate because he doesn't want to form, for example, an enolate. So he uses that negative to bump it down to form a carbonyl and then the double bond next to it to, to open up. So not always does he protonate. Oh, that's right. So in, uh, he might protonate bond, something right? different. Yeah. So how do we know which one to do? We look at the final picture. Yeah. In this picture, it's the oxygen that's protonated. Okay. So that's how we know that we want to protonate oh, that here. Okay. So now, next in the mechanism, I'm going to show a protonation step. Um, where is this oxygen? Where would be a good place for this oxygen to get the proton from? From this one up here? Okay. Um, again, you could do this in two steps. You could show the oxygen taking the proton from the water. Um, and then uh, you could show the hydroxide taking the proton from here. I, I guess you would accept either way. So uh, we can just show this over here. So this oxygen is going to take the proton from here. How do we know to take the proton from this oxygen? Because we know we need to make more changes with this oxygen. So we need to get a negative charge here so we can have this oxygen do something. All right. So. Here, and a negative charge here. Okay, and then what? Attack. Yeah, attack who? Attack the number one carbon over here. How do we know we should do that? The main reason we know to do that is by looking at our product. We need to do that because we need this oxygen to be attached to the number one. Well, this will get the oxygen on the number one. But you can only do things that are reasonable. Well, this is totally reasonable for a nucleophile to attack a carbonyl over here. Um, by the way, this comes back to the issue you were talking about before. How do we know this won't deprotonate an alpha carbon? This is the question you were asking me earlier. How do you know this won't deprotonate an alpha carbon? Well, it will, but, but that's not... Deprotonate. Uh, earlier you were asking me... Oh, how like do hydrogen from... Yeah, from an alpha carbon. Um, there's still an alpha carbon over here and an alpha carbon over here that right. have protons. Just looking at the product? Yeah, that's right. So remember, um, there probably will be some. Uh, they probably will sometimes deprotonate those alpha carbons, but won't, those won't give us the product we're trying to explain in this mechanism. So again, that answers. That yeah, you got to focus like a laser on your goal in these types so of problems. So things can happen. That's right. The key idea for mechanism problems is there's. You're not supposed to assume that this is the only possible product. You're not even supposed to assume this is the major product. You're right. just trying to show how this is a possible product. Um, so you make. You do anything that's reasonable. Um, as long as it helps you to get to that final product. It doesn't have to be the thing that's going to happen the most often. Okay, so in this case, um, we would have a nucleophilic attack on this oxygen, and now I, can, I guess we can see we're pretty much yeah. done. That will give us this over here. Then this uh, will protonate at this why? point. And that takes us back to the concern you had earlier. You were saying, gee, why am I focusing so much on the number three carbon when I really need an oxygen to attack the number one carbon? You were asking me that before. Well, uh, as I said, you were right. We did need the oxygen to attack the number one, but that just happened after. That number three attacked. 